Patricia Gross, welcome to Passion Time. I'm here with Robin Riegler. She's the Executive Director of Writers in Schools and is an extraordinary program that is changing lives in our public school system and now even more in other areas as well. So, but first, before we start, I have to ask you the question, how is it that you found your passion and are living your passion? I began writing as a young person in Arkansas. My family owned a store. Uh, my I mother my mother gave me an accounting book. Wow. It had the little red and blue lines uh -huh, up uh -huh. and down and for numbers, but I put words in it instead. Wow. So and it was just in your soul already. It just changed my life. It uh -huh. was like the activity of writing uh, helped me become. Right, right, who you are. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about writers in schools. It started over 20 years ago. And you started with them, right? Mm, I wasn't the founder. I came in about five years after that. Okay, and, and how did it start? Because now it's become this huge organization. Well, we were modeled after Teachers and Writers Collaborative in New York City. And as it turned out, when the U of H Creative Writing Program began here, they brought in two people who had been involved in the program in New York, uh, Philip Lope mm -hmm. and Marv Hoffman. And why, by the way, let me just say that the uh, Writers Program at U of H Creative Writing is the best or the second best in the country, mm -hmm. one or two with Iowa, right? Yes, yes. And, and so those are sort of the convergence of these people in the city of Houston was the beginning of Writers in the Schools and those two guys looked around and they said, you know, uh, Houston Public Schools could use a program sure. like the one we did in New York and they banded together a group of graduate students who were keen to give it a try. Right, right. That's where it started. And, and so today, how does it work? You, the kids go to school and after school they, they write? Tell me, tell, tell me how it works. Some programs are after school, but most of the programs are right in school. The teacher and the writer are partners. Okay. And the writer comes in once a week for the whole school year. We, we really want to be a part of the children's learning experience. The long-term program is super important to us. Mm -hmm. And so kids might have WITS every Wednesday morning at 10.30, okay. but they have it all year long. It gives them a chance to be a writer, okay. to revise, to re-edit, yeah, to <laughs> brainstorm, to try things that don't work, and uh, eventually they uh, publish and celebrate their work at the end of the year. That's fantastic. Tell me about the process. Now, you start with kids who are what age? I mean, is there a certain age that you want to start? Usually we start with second or third grade okay. and we work all the way up to 12th grade. And what do you find it does as far as the academic development of the kids once they start writing? Well, in Texas and in most states, there is a standardized test in writing. Mm -hmm. And so what we found is that the scores on those standardized tests do increase for students who have the WITS program. It's not because we're teaching test prep, we're teaching writing and students who understand the writing process will do better on that test than students who, who are just taking a test that they learned how to take. Now, what is the, uh, you've now expanded, besides writing, now you do performing arts. First of all, how many kids are you impacting in Houston and in the country right now? In Houston, it is now 36,000 a year. Wow. Yeah, so it's a big wow. program. And then we work with writers in the schools programs across the country. country. We have a, a network of about 33 different programs, uh, mostly in the United States, but also in Canada and in the UK. And it started, it started, you know, just writing, and now it has evolved. Share with me in the last 20 years how you evolved. Mm -hmm. I feel like the basic uh, sort of kernel of success is a certain chemistry between a teacher and a writer and kids, and. A lot of times writers are kind of like kids, you know, they really like, you know, they don't give you a worksheet, they bring in a pineapple, you know, they pass it around, they cut it in half. Right. It's very, they're very tactile, they're very interested in an exciting experience True. for kids. And so I feel like, you know, it's the individual child. It was at the beginning and it still is now that we're thinking about as, as we grow the program. Okay, and now you're doing also performing arts. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that means exactly. Um, well, at the end of our sort of traditional WITS program, we always published an anthology. Mm -hmm. And that's a big deal for kids to get to see sure, their words their in work. print. They get to take it home, show, show their families, yeah. keep it forever. 
Um, now, that, now that we're getting bigger, we're doing other kinds of sort of culminating events at the end of the program, uh, one of which is performing arts. Some of the performance programs are doing slam poetry. Older students are particularly interested in that. It's hip hop, it's, you know, it's beat, it's fun. And that has been very compelling to our, our high school kids. Sure. With um, some kids were doing uh, video games where they take the story that they've written and sort of create a video game from wow. it. The idea being that every video game is in fact a story. Wow. The player is That's a character. Creative. Yeah, and then they, so they use their story and they recreate it in the game and then they get to share their story and their games together in something we call a game jam story slam. Uh -huh. So that's another kind of culminating event that we do. We also work with teachers now and that's a kind of a coaching model in which our writers are working sort of one to five usually with teachers and helping them sort of move through the process again throughout the year, a long-term project where they're really like a personal trainer. They're there in the classroom with the teacher and uh, helping them be writers so they can understand how to teach writing. Wow, okay. Now, looking back at those 20 years, what would you say is your greatest achievement as an organization? Um, you know, I think the greatest achievement really is, is this way that we have maintained success with the individual. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the thing about scalability is that you can lose sight. Right. of it and just go for numbers, big numbers, bigger numbers. Um, but the, the deal is that I, I feel like, you know, if your child is in this program, he or she will have a, an experience that will change his life. So mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I think I think that's the key, right, is, is your transforming lives and we'll talk about that. Thank you so much, Robin Riegler, for joining us. It's Thank you. Great having you. And uh, if people want to become part of Writers in Schools, like let's say Writers in Schools is not in their school, mm -hmm. what do they need to do? Well, our website is witshouston.org, O-R-G, and they can get online and tell us they're interested. We can uh, approach a school through the parent, through okay. the principal, and we also do summer camps. We do free programs uh, across the city for both young children and for teenagers. All of it's on our website, but it's uh, easy access for anybody, um, who wants just it. in lots of different ways. All right, Robin Riegler with Writers in Schools. Make sure you check their website. If, you are, if you're not in your school, go fight for it. Uh, we'll see you next week on Passion Time. Las puertas...